What are we doing today, Luna? We're going to the zoo. We're at the zoo already. Yeah. So today we're going to the zoo, yeah. the San Francisco Zoo. Come with us if you want to go to the zoo. I have my cheetah shirt on. You're wearing your cheetah shirt? Butterfly shirt. Okay, fashion check. What? We're going to go to the zoo. Let's Mask go. On. Over there you see the black and white ruffles in there. There are many different species of animals living together and getting along. This is because you would find all these animals together naturally in the wild. Have a great day and enjoy exploring the rest of the savannah. Giraffe school. How do you know? Look at the top. That is cool. What are we looking so at, cool. Mom? Look, one person per circle. Or one group? One group. Sorry. Nice. Hey, buddy. What you doing, buddy? Hello, we see you. Hi, buddy. We're seeing some gorillas right now. This is gonna be such a good photo. She's hiding the food. Why do you think she does that, Luna? Uh, to make the gorillas think about how they get their food. All right, make them work for it. Mm -hmm. They're just tossing it everywhere. Let me know. When the gorillas come out, what do you think is going to happen? I think the gorillas are going to have a fierce They're competition and run. I could be wrong. This dude's looking pretty chill. Well, what do you think? Are the gorillas going to go ham? Is there going to be like a wilderness competition for the food? Or are they going to take it easy? Dang, you're right. They are just chilling. Mm -hmm. Well, like a Sunday stroll. Come on, you. He's taking his little canvas bag. Where's the bag he's using it to collect? No way. Oh, there's a big boy. One right there who's climbing the fence is a silverback male. He definitely has a silver backside. Sometimes I feel like that. Baboons. Red bottom baboons, apparently. <laughs> Francois Longer. These things are actually not really coming out right now. They're out here a little bit, but they're hard to see. What's up, dude? Good to see you. What do we got here, guys? Sea otters. Nice. Is it a cuddle party? Oh, oh, it? Cuddle party. Apparently, that's called a fishing cat. I never even heard of that. Get ready to check out some penguins. Where? It was swimming over there. He had a leaf in his mouth swimming underwater. Oh, they're coming back, Dad, look. I'm really glad that the tiger came out and we got to show you guys the tiger because he wasn't coming out and I didn't think I was gonna get to show you the tiger. So, hope you guys like the tiger. Whoa! Mr. Rhinoceros, how are you today? He could care less. My dog just kicking it. In the sunshine. That's what I'd do if I had two horns though. Just kick back, flap your ear about, you know what I mean? Chill. So over there they have bongos and they're not drums. Let's go check it out over here. That rhino's about to eat you, fool. She totally wants some cotton candy. Because I, why? Why do you know it's a she? Because its feathers are gray. And the males? Are the peacocks that you think about in your mind. Oh, with the vibrant tail yeah. feathers? It's snack time, break time. 
Mama got a pretzel with cheese and Luna got some Dippin' Dots. We're gonna enjoy that real quick. You like Dippin' Dots? Mm-hmm. You know it's the ice cream of the future? Mm-hmm. If they wanna sponsor us and send us Dippin' Dots for life, that's fine. I eat it all. Send it in. Right now we're checking out the snow leopard. Snow leopard. You a snow leopard? Yeah. You're colder than a snow leopard? Yeah. Wow. We don't get to see them except for through the fence like this. There's photo ops over there and we're gonna go do them. All right, let's get it. What kind of photo albums or photo ops? Right here. Am I the right height? You don't have to be. Perfect height. Totally perfect, dude. Excellent. You're a perfect monarch butterfly, dude. Thank God she took the small one, huh? Right. You guys ready to be giraffes? Yeah. Luna, you're a little too low. You need to come up about two inches. Mom, go to the right. Oh, my knees. Stay there. <gasps> We're almost, wait, it's almost in focus. One second. I'm sliding too. No, 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 you're good. Stay, hold there, be strong. I'm just kidding, it's a video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a video. I'm just joking. <laughs> ah, Mama almost got stuck at the zoo. In fact, one way to tell our grizzly sisters apart is that Fiona is the darker one and Katina is the blonder one. Is this a bear? Mm-hmm. It's a bear skull. Read it. It talks about their sense of smell. Bears probably have the best sense of smell of any land animal. Wonder why? Look at the human and bear skulls and find the bony honeycomb shapes. These turbines along with lots of room and a large nasal cavity and a long muscle which makes the meat bear's smell ability so much greater than ours. What do you smell? What do you smell? Poop? Animal poop? Yeah. What's so up guys, this area that we're in right here by the Grizzlies, I think it's called the Grizzly Gulch or something. It's super beautiful. It's like just chill, tranquil. Lake, greenery, grizzly bears, warthogs. So chill over here. Just want to kick it, you know what I mean? What? Dinosaurs! That's not even how it goes. What? One spot to the next. Kangaroos? Let's hop to it! Kangaroos vary in size from the tiny wallaby to the mid. He's got Kramer hair. Hey, he does have Kramer hair. This is dope. Cue, cue the Seinfeld music. Hold on, Seinfeld music, Kramer hair. In three, two, one. All right, I lied. Those are not kangaroos. They're actually wallaroos, a smaller marsupial. They don't really want to come out. They're a little far away. Just kicking it. If I was a wallaroo, I'd be chilling though. What are we doing here? We're going to check out the koalas. Are you pumped? Yeah, I love koalas. Why, because they're cuddly? Yeah. So this is a koala, but he is asleep. He's in there, he's asleep. I'm sorry that it's sometimes underwhelming like the koalas right now, but there's not much we can do about that. They're not part of the plan. You know what I mean? They're just here. All right, now we're gonna go check out the playground and the exploration area. Cool spots for kids to hang out and have fun. There's also a little cafe here. It's not open right now. It might be open when you're here. They got three nice play areas for the kids. This one in front of me, the one behind it, and then that one over there. What's she gonna say? I'm going to go to the Sahara. Go to Savannah, or Savannah. Okay. Mom's psychic. We'll probably be here for what? Another 10 or 20 minutes at the outdoor park area. Just kicking it. Chillaxing, parent chill moment. Parents on timeout on purpose. Pretty cool spot though. First park here is like for younger kids. Then there's the Arctic zone. Super dope. And then there's like the Savannah area. Pretty on brand for the zoo here. Rosa, I'm hungry. Pizza? Mm-hmm. Always. Should we just go there now? I need some pizza. Coming down! Yay! Oh. Chilling or what? Come here. Get it, Luna. You can do it. Come on, try one more time. Keep it going! 
Ready? Set. Set. Go! <laughs> Come on, Daddy. Coming down! Okay, Where are you going on the iceberg? Kicking it at the Dad, look, Zoo. another one's open for you. Yeah? I'm gonna be over here in mine. Okay. Okay. Oh, yep. Yeah. I'm kicking it. Okay, so now we're gonna go down a crazy boat. Well, maybe Cypress. I'll just have to wait. That's too crazy. Slide blocked. Slide activator. Let's walk across. Let's see what this leads to. Let's see what this leads to. Yeah. Oh, secret tree base. Climb these bars. Crazy stuff. Apologize for the mask. One of the rules. Dad, what do we do this, Mom? They have this super cool old school carousel here. I'm assuming it's wood hand carved like the old Loof carousels, like at the boardwalk where I live and at Disneyland. I'm not sure though. Maybe we can get some research on this. Jed, can you help us out on this Eugene carousel? We need some information. Don't worry, the carousel's just closed due to the pandemic, so when you're here, it'll probably be open. Headed into the gift shop to get something to help us remember this trip. Rosa and Luna are already in the gift shop, and there's a queue because of the pandemic, so I don't know if they're gonna let me in or how this is gonna work or if I'm gonna just wait till they come back out, but I can't wait to see what educational item the girls got. Let's see if this guy lets me in, because Rosa's already in there. Excuse me? Yep. My wife is in here. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. They let me right in. I just said, hey, my wife's in there. They believed me, yo. Wow. Um, sir, I don't know who you are. Oh, they're like baby books, huh? No books for big kids, huh? Rosa, we're not supposed to buy junk. She uses pens and pencils. I'm just getting myself a little keychain for my backpack. And this is San Francisco Zoo. Where are we? Where are we? We're we at the, the Queen, Queen Wilhelma Garden. Queen Wilhelmina Garden. Aren't they pretty? So pretty. She's half bob and half golden, but she's like really long and tall. That's so cute. So behind me over there is the Dutch windmill. The Golden Gate Park windmills are two historic windmills located at Golden Gate Park in San Francisco, California. Dutch windmill, the northern of two functioning windmills completed in 1903. Murphy windmill, the southern of two functioning windmills completed in 1908. So yeah, Dutch windmill completed in 1903. I guess this was 125 years old and this Dutch windmill is 118 years old. Your boy did it. This is Golden Gate Park. This is where we are. Right now? Yeah. Holy, we are on the very bottom. And then I made plans to go here tomorrow, the De Young Museum. Okay. And then we're also going to try to hit this too. Okay. At the same time. Tea Garden. Uh -huh. And then Friday we're going here. Academy of Sciences. And hopefully we can go there too. Botanical Garden. Know. To go here. Luna wants to go here. Okay. There's the con music concourse little area in between these two. There's a skate area for you. Oh yeah. Considering <laughs> I have a busted toe, thanks a lot. Appreciate that. Bye amazing flower garden. All right, we're gonna go get some food and I think we're gonna get pizza. I'm not 100% sure, it's always a journey. We're getting pizza. We're getting pizza? Yeah.
How cool is that? We actually got to go down Lombard Street, totally unplanned and inadvertent. But now we are here at Tony's Napolitan Pizza to pick up our pizza. So let's go check it out. Say hi to YouTube. <laughs> Where do I go in for pickup, ma'am? Awesome, thank you. Uh, pick up for a Rosa. It should be a Napolitana Margarita and a New Yorker. Well, we live in Santa Cruz, so we're just taking a little staycation here. But I, I love pizza and I haven't had your guys' pizza for some reason, so. Just helping Rosa get out of this. We're about to head back to the hotel and eat this pizza. This is the Napolitana Margarita. Cool. First bite, Napolitana Margarita. It's not crispy, right? Like this is this is traditional Italian pizza, Napolitana. It's never supposed to be crispy. But you should eat it at the spot. We didn't, we got it to go, which means it's soggier than it should have been and also not as hot as it should have been, but it is what it is. So I recommend you guys get it at the spot, you know, fresh right then and there. But if you gotta take it home or to go, like try to get it quick. So good, so good, perfect. Straight back to Italy, crust. Exactly. I'll put a link up here. You can click on that to check out that vlog from Italy. Perfect. Soupy with a dollop of mozzarella, the basil, the sauce is the perfect sweetness. The crust is chewy, soft, charred, bomb. All right, time for that New Yorker. This New Yorker pizza has won awards, okay? Coal fired oven. What's crazy about uh, Tony's is that on the menu, when you see the options, they tell you what type of oven and what temperature they cook the pizza at. So they got different ovens, different temperatures, different styles of pizza, Sicilian, authentic Italian, Americana, Napolitana, bomb. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay, okay. That is a classic New York taste right there, wow. I feel like I'm in New York now. Really? I've never been. Eat this pizza, it'll be, transport you to New York. So good. Somehow this tastes just like New York. Amazing. So, Luna, what do you think about the pizza? Delicious. I, I haven't had the margarita, but I don't think I'll need to. Right? I think I can already taste the margarita in this one. Did you try the sausage? What, did, what do you exactly mean by you can taste the margarita in that New Yorker? Uh, probably the margarita probably tastes like this. <laughs> Let her finish her pepperoni. <laughs> what do you think? What? You didn't give me pizza. What? I'm pretty sure I did. I want some pizza. You this is more? a huge plate. Right. This was your plate. I'll be right back. Oh, oh man. This transports me back to New York. Thanks, bro. I've never been to New York, so I don't this know. This is really good. I don't know what you want me to say. <laughs> During the Christmas of 2020, Luna received an Instax mini film camera. The ones that shoot those little pictures like this. And she's still actually on her first roll ever. And she shot photos today at the zoo. And so we're gonna look at those now. She asked for this camera for like two years, maybe even three years. Her older sister has one and she always wanted one, but she's literally been asking for this camera since she was like six years old. And there's no way I was gonna buy her this camera when she was six because the film is like a dollar a picture, $2 a picture, it's expensive. But anyway, she's nine now and, and I caved and I got it for her and some film. And she bought some more film with her own money. So it's pretty cool. But let's check these photos out. So this is supposed to be a photo of the gorillas. Yeah, it got a little bit blurry. Okay. We're learning. This Instax camera's hard to work, huh? Peacock. Mmm, peacock. A little overexposed, huh? Yeah. But the peacock is nice and bright blue. Penguin home. Oh, penguin homes. All like I got it right when all the penguins are going in, so I'm a little bit sad. Here is the kangaroos. There's supposed to be one right there. I get the feeling that you just really wanted to take pictures, huh? No. Is this is your best one? Uh, yeah. It's the last one I took. Oh, this one's great. It's me and Mama. What a great photo you did, bro. This little poppy just creeped up. Yep. I think nice. this one's my favorite one out of all of them. Nice pics, bro. Good job. Today was rad, but tomorrow is going to be even radder. So make sure you tune in. Peace, subscribe, all that stuff that you're tired of hearing people say. See you on the next one. Peace.